We're good? Okay. Sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties. Um, what we're going to be talking about tonight is some of the questions that you've asked me during the course of the week. We're going to go over some customer reviews, and some of them are amazing. I'm going to share with you some of the stories that I've personally been involved with, with customers um, that are motivating, they're kind of exciting, and, and they're, they've, they've just been inspirational to a great number of people. Um, we want to encourage everybody to call your family, your friends, doctors, health practitioners, let people know what the Solar Sizer has done for you, what you believe it can do for them. The movement is moving forward and we're having a great effect. I thank all the doctors who have been on board, who have been supporting us and, and the graciousness. I mean, you're, you know, I've been doing this 30 years and I didn't get the medical background that a great many of you have. But in the course of those 30 years, I've had a chance to work with a great many of you and you've taught taught me a great deal and I've been able to take a lot of that information and create programs that are designed to help support the medical community and, and many of you who are who are involved in it also in, in helping others and, and I'm grateful for the for the friendships and I'm grateful for the support that you've given me um, yeah so share with um, your family and friends uh, what we're going to be talking about a little bit today we're going to be talking about the the posture we're going to be talking about our shoulders um, and some of those questions that have come up uh, during the course of this week. So we're not going to do an exercise routine today, but you're welcome to do some of the shoulder movements and exercises so you can feel the dynamics of how powerful that is. If you know anybody who's a physical therapist, we've helped a great many physical therapists improve the overall effectiveness of what they're doing by incorporating cellular size within some of their stretching and and re rehabilitation techniques. The cellular sizer offers a, a benefit because of the gentle movement up and down, which feeds circulation through the tissue while it gently helps the tissue, ligaments and tendons to e expand and, and contract without overstretching. And it seem, seems to promote the healing effectiveness and reduce the inflammation and, and soreness. So this one comes from Trish, she says, if you can, definitely go ahead and purchase the balance bar with your unit. The increased benefit and options provided far outweigh the cost or the additional cost of deciding on a later date to purchase one separately. She says cough, cough. <laughs> so Trish, Trish learned that the hard way. We want to encourage people that most, almost 9 out of 10 people ultimately end up getting the balance bar. The balance bar starts off as a balance bar and then it becomes a performance bar. It gives you the ability to create more leverage and do different movements with greater support so you can get better um, results. And we'll, we'll demonstrate some of that later too. I have a painful hip and painful knee, opposite legs. I assume one was a result of accommodating the other. In any case, I can do this. I've been doing it for over a month now. I've noticed improvement in all my joints. I have noticed that as I got older that my bum was slipping down and back my legs lots of laugh the other day while over at my daughter she asked if I was wearing a sort of girdle and bottom my side and said no why do you ask she said because it looks like you've had a butt lift. Um, I remember reading this one it's a good it's still a great great testimony I thank you Trish for sharing it. Uh, first week with my new cellar sizer cellar sizer is like jumping on a cloud Jumping on my previous rebounders is like jumping on a concrete. I had no idea until I was able to compare them. No wonder my leg, legs were in pain. Um, Tracy writes, love the app. Who would have thought I would be in the advanced section? I turned 50 in June and only began rebounding about February this year. The different workouts come in handy. My knee was playing up yesterday, so instead of completing the losing weight workout, I switched to the knees one. Still had a great session, plus my knee felt better all day long. Hi everyone, thank you for tuning into the video workout videos that I've been posting. I really enjoy your feedback. We did, we read that one too. <laughs> all right. Barbara says, I want to take a few minutes to share with you what I think about your rebound and the great addition it has been to my life. I have chronic active hepatitis C. The way that it affects me is that I battle with fatigue and joint muscle pain on a daily basis. 
it was very difficult for me to exercise. I loved walking, but it took its toll on my joints and seemed to increase my fatigue. Also, it was impossible for me to do during inclement weather, which in Missouri is often. When I heard about the rebounder, it seemed to be, to be too good to be true. Exercise easy on the joints and better than walking. I had to see this. In December, I gave myself a rebounder for Christmas and I was off and jumping. Now the results so far, as I was hitting midlife, I felt like everything was drooping, heading south, so to speak, instead of north. When I started jumping on my jumping, my muscles started firming and now everything is once again heading north. The exercise is gentle and does not fatigue me. In fact, it seems to really aid in circulation, giving me more energy. I was bothered by what felt like congestion in my liver area and now I can jump a short, gentle period and this congestion even clears. It truly has been a great addition to my life. My entire family, husband, 13-year-old son and mother have now started jumping too. My mother at, oops, guess better not tell her age, over 80, liked mine so well that she also invested in one. Thank you, David, for the time you took to explain the rebounder to me and to help me get started jumping for life. Some of these we've read before or they may be listed. They're very good for those who have not heard these to, um, to be aware of them as well. Don and Mary Kay say, I want to let you know what a blessing the cellar sizer has been to me. First time that I did it, all I could do was let my own weight baby bounce. Within three to four minutes of baby bouncing, I was able to actually lift my feet to push off for, a higher, for higher bounces. That same time of exercising, I was even able to bend and lift my knees to do some jogging. I wasn't able to jog very long or lift my knees very high, but it was a great improvement from the start. The days I miss cellar sizing, I have less energy and more pain. I have even struggled with health issues for the last 20 years, and the cellar sizers have given me the best results of all the physical therapies that I've tried. We're going to talk a little bit more about physical therapy in, in a few minutes. My husband and I have shared our success with our family from the ages of 23 to 85, and they are now receiving the same blessings that we enjoy from cellar size. Thank you for all the work you do that you've put into bringing us the very best physical therapy available anywhere. Your sincerity, integrity, and excellent service are welcome, most welcome and appreciated. Don and Mary Kay. Thank you, Don and Mary Kay. Corey writes, thanks, David. I sure will. I appreciate that. Yes, I've tried the Jamba Run, and that is part of one of my routines. What a great exercise, and you're right. What you said on your newest DVD, it works every part of your body. My friends and family are seeing the results cellar sizing is doing for me. I was doing the exercise program Insanity and other home exercises. I started in February at 205 pounds with those exercises and got to 190 pounds in April. However, the wear and tear on my body was growing and I knew I could not do those kinds of exercises long term. I rem remember my parents telling me about the cellar size, which I admittedly laughed at when they first introduced it to me about a year ago. I figured it would not hurt to give it a try and have been doing it ever since the end of April. I'm now down to 169 pounds and feel great. I think this is the greatest thing out there and people are seeing the results and asking questions. I get so excited telling them all about, about it that it's like sharing the gospel when it comes to health and bettering their lives. Well, you know what that feels like for me too. It's a mission. You know, our mission is to help people achieve their greater physical health and fitness. And I know that the cellar sizer has benefits for everybody. I just wish more people knew about it. Those friends I was telling you about went to your website and were sold. So hopefully you will be getting some new purchases here soon. Thanks again, David, for all you do. Corey. And I want to thank Corey and all the rest of you who are out there making a difference in the lives of, of so many people. And we get all these customer reviews and phone calls all the time. And a great many of them are because of you. Do you have any info about the possibility of solar sizing causing a big, tall, lifelong mole? Oh, this is a new one. This just came in. This is really interesting. Causing a big, tall, lifelong mole to suddenly start separating from the skin and then within a week completely painlessly disappear. I read that moles and skin tags are connected to the lymphatic system. This just happened to me. Amazing! Exclamation point. I've only been bouncing a few weeks and I have to confess that it's, it had been on a cheaper brand, but it does have big tapered springs and a non-saggy mat. I know the springs are not the same quality in design or steel, so as soon as possible, I'm going to get a solar sizer to you. Thank you, Juan Diego. And Daniel writes, since rebounding these past five months, I've noticed improved mood, less impact on my joints when exercising, and increased recovery time 
in between heavier workouts. I've literally tore the cover off my measly mini trampoline that cost $40 at a local sporting goods store after one month of using it and decided it was time to invest in a cellar sizer. It has been well worth the investment. Thank you, Dave Hall. Um, okay, some questions. Hi from Hungary. We get people from all around the world. It's so much fun. I am still waiting for my cellar sizer to arrive. What exercises should I do for rounded shoulders? We're going to come back to that, and I'm, I'm going to do some demonstrations in just a moment. I'm finally on a weight loss program and losing, and losing weight. <clears throat> my skin is tremendously loose in the lower extremities especially. When a previously torn meniscus, which turned into arthritic, arthritic knee and sciatica pain at times, what are the best exercises on the cellar sizer? We've talked quite a bit about that already in some of the previous sessions, which I encourage you to, to look at. But we can strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee. I've had to do the same thing myself. And very often with those, that increase of strength in the, the support, we're able to retain more fluid in between the joint, and often those issues start to fade away. Um, I'm curious about the effect on loose skin. I'm five foot tall and had twins, six pounds each, at age 41. My stomach skin is loose. I had a tummy tuck, tuck scheduled that had to be delayed due to COVID until late August. I was wondering what results I might see between now and then. My cellar size arrived today. I'm, pretty, I'm already pretty fit. Well, when you do the, the stomach run where we jog, and we tilt backwards a little bit, that's going to help strengthen, tighten, and tone all the muscles in this area. But it's also weight-bearing. And as we apply weight to the skin and the collagen, which are protein fibers, they can also become more resistant. Now, it's not going to be as an extreme as if you have a tummy tuck, but it can help in, in promoting skin health and skin tone. Dave, thank you for a wonderful product. Do you have any suggestions for those of us who are older and have um, creepy skin, crepe skin? Have you had any positive, negative results or feedback from the user community? I'm 72. Thanks. Crepey skin. Um, that, that has to do generally with skin damage. Um, I, I've laid out in the sun. I mean, I grew up in Orange County, California. I was down at the beach and I was black and I would put baby oil on, I'd see how dark I could get, and my hair was blonde, and my teeth were white, and it looked weird. But I would get really, really dark. And I did this for years, and yeah, it, I'm sure it's, it's, it's damaged my skin some too. But that being said, I think the cellar size it goes a long way in helping to mitigate the damage, to increase circulation. The skin cells are expanding and contracting. How are you going to do that any other way? So even if you're using you know, good lotions and then you're moving up and down, the cells in the skin are expanding and contracting. And, and that's one of our, that is the biggest organ in our body. So if we can have that moving up and down and we can release toxins and we can increase the circulation, I think we can promote the healing. Okay. Um, I've been using different rebounders before receiving the cellar sizer. Should I take it slow in the cellar sizer? Yes. Yes. Keep in mind when we cellar size, we're not lifting weight away from gravity and we're not limiting the effect to one muscle. We're increasing the weight of gravity and it's on every muscle all at the same time. Plus, muscles, bones, ligaments, tendons, skin, collagen, protein fibers throughout the entire body. There's many additional challenges that are taking place as we move up and down. So does all the fluid in the body. We start to back flush valves. We open up capillaries. We help to change blood chemistry. I had some great customer reviews today of people that were absolutely amazed at how their sticky blood started to separate and become oxygenated and energized and, and they take on a whole different... Um, you know, look under microscopy when they had been cellar sizing. And sticky blood cells are not healthy. We want to keep them separated, oxygenated, and energized. What about cellar size for a hyperactive kid with ADD? They're going to love it. And we've had a great many parents that, that have uh, seen children with autism as well as ADD. And they call me and they tell me what 
a you know it's almost life-saving benefit it has been for them and for their children it helps create balance remember it's not just physical balance it's also chemical balance when you're moving up and down the thyroid the adrenals the endocrine system they're also expanding and contracting collectively in unison the whole body's involved in the movement up and down so there's great benefits from that um, one last one Dear Dave, somehow a written note feels like the best way to express my gratitude to you and for your wonderful product. I purchased mine five years ago for my 50th birthday gift to myself. I've used it intermittently over the years, along with other workouts. Now that we are in COVID-19 days, it has completely seen my physical and emotional outlet. Ben it has completely been my physical and emotional outlet. So fabulous for physical exercise and mood boosting. Thank you for your ingenuity and your authenticity in sharing best practices. Love your Facebook lives. All the best in health and happiness. Sincerely, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. From Canada. And I sure appreciate that. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what you can do for shoulders. And it's good to do this whether you have shoulder issues or not. Because we don't ever want to have shoulder issues. But we're also going to be talking about posture. And in posture, we want to stand erect. These are the muscles that help hold us erect. And when these muscles, if we're sitting behind a desk a lot, or, or as we age, if we're not strengthening these muscles, gravity starts to win out and shoulders start to get rounded and we start to you know, fall over some. And that's not healthy. So let's talk about some shoulder exercises that we can all do. And... We're going to start with the scapula area in the back of the shoulder blades. Um, am I in the camera all right? Okay, I'm going to take this bar off so you can see better. Okay, so if, if we have problems in our back, often it can be in the scapula area of the shoulder blades. And when we have a pinched nerve or we feel like we have a pinched nerve back there, it can cause a lot of pain and a lot of discomfiture. And I've worked with physical therapists on, on some of these techniques that they've done and we've incorporated cellar size and seem to be finding it to be even more effective. But taking your hand, for example, if you have um, a pinched nerve or the scapula is bothering you, you can take your hand, hold it underneath your elbow, and as you're gently moving up and down, which is causing all the tissue to expand while we move fluid, you can take that and gently move it toward the right area of your body. So we're stretching to where we feel comfortable. Now when we feel the stretch, hold the position, gently bounce, and allow the movement to massage that tissue and increase that fluid movement. Now if you're more flexible than that, you can take your arm and wrap it underneath your shoulder here and then you can pull the shoulder this direction as well and that helps to open up the shoulder even more and then of course you would do the same thing on the other side and it very well may be that you have more tightness in the shoulder on one side than the other but our objective here is to open up the shoulder that whole shoulder area so that's one another good movement is to take your shoulders and move them forward and gently bounce for a few moments. You'll feel it here in the clavicle area if you have tightness as well as in the back of the shoulders. So you just roll them forward and gently move up and down and feel that, that movement. And that's massaging that tension away. And then you can lift them up and then put them back and gently bounce up and down too. And that's when you can put them down and forward again and up and back and if you have and you've seen me do some of these techniques on the DVD um, if you have a shoulder that you can't really even lift your arm up or you're having trouble doing that and again I have to say consult with your doctor or health practitioner but these are techniques that I teach doctors okay um, as well as our customer base if you hold underneath the elbow you can gently move up and down it's supported and if you put your fingers on those muscles you're going to feel a huge dynamic and this is what we want physical therapists 
to experience as well because this movement is supporting it but you're, the movement of the tissue is helping to reduce inflammation, increase circulation, promote strength. So we can gently move up and down like this for the shoulder and then lift the shoulder up over your head if, if you're comfortable. Is, you, know, you can support, you can determine the amount that you're comfortable with and then out to the side and you can support that too. When you, if your shoulder is strong enough, you can just put your elbows in front, up over the top and to the back. Holding your shoulder back helps to increase and improve your posture because as we're doing this and we're moving up and down, the muscles are expanding, contracting to help support and strengthen the alignment. And if you take those fingers and put them up on those trapezius muscles right here and bounce up and down, you're going to feel those muscles with a lot of weight on them because those muscles will get stronger and that's what helps support our posture. Okay, um, tell a couple of stories. We had some people that were having some hip issues as well. And I want to show you some of the techniques for the hips that in a graduated um, group of, or, or steps. And then we'll, um, I'll tell some stories. Here's another one that, I don't know if you've ever seen these little things. They're often used where people kind of stretch their shoulders and or do little movements like this. I don't do that. <laughs> but what I do like about this is you can knot something like this, grab it with the right hand, take your left hand, and you're gonna wanna put your left hand like this. You can actually pull it up. And the neat thing about the stretch is that you get to a certain point, you can't, you can't hurt yourself. You're just gonna feel the tension but then you can start to bounce up and down and that is another good movement to help open up the shoulder area and so you get to the stretch you feel the stretch and you you do the same thing and you can do the same thing this direction just like this and once you get to a certain point you're going to feel those muscles and those ligaments gently expanding and contracting. Okay, for the hips, gently moving up and down is always a wake-up call. Gently rocking side to side to loosen up the muscles and ligaments in the hip. Do this for a minute, two minutes, until it feels nice and warm. Gently twisting. You can twist at the waist first, which is working the back, the hips, digestion, elimination. And then for people that have had sciatica conditions, and this is why I wanted to share this with you because one of our customers was asking us. We have found that keeping the hip straight ahead and gently twisting in the hip socket area can help loosen up the joint, that whole area where that nerve wraps around. So those movements can be very helpful too. Now, tell you a story. I was in Lodi, California, and we had a, a lady who came by and she was in a walker and I was working with a group of people around me and she just stood there watching and I had my cellar sizer with a balance bar on it and I was talking to, the, to a group that had gathered around and I asked her, I said, would you like to try this? And she said, oh no, I can't do that. So I continued to talk to the group of people around me and she continued to stay there and she saw how I was working with people as I would get them on and off and have them do different movements and 10 minutes later I asked her are you sure you don't want to try this she said oh yeah yeah I'd like to try this so I said well why don't you come on up and I had her come up and she had a degenerative hip and I said okay see how this feels um, just stand on the cellar sizer feet spread apart rock left to right because we're going to be working all the hip muscles that help support that hip joint area so she starts to go like this. She says, oh, no, I can't do that. That hurts. I said, okay, well, let's, let's go back a step. So she started to, I had her just gently move up and down. So all the tissue is being warmed up. The circulation is moving through the body and all those ligaments and those tendons and muscles. And she's doing this for several minutes. I started working more, asking questions. A few minutes later, I looked back over my shoulder and she's standing there holding onto the balance bar. And now with a blank look and she's like feeling what's going on inside of her, she's going. 
side to side. I didn't think a lot of it. She ended up getting the cellar sizer. A year went by. I was invited back to Lodi to do a demonstration. It was a, a large, large group of people. And I was stand, and the second year I had two more cellar sizers. So I had one on one side and another on the other side. They were empty. I was on my cellar sizer talking to a group of people. And a lady comes up to me on my cellar sizer, parts away, and she says, <clears throat> she says, can I get on that? And I looked at the two empty cellar sizers. Sure. And so I stepped out and I let her get up there. She gets up there and she's got, you know, she's using the balance bar initially, but she's bouncing up and down and then she starts to jog in place and then she starts to kick her legs out to work on the stomach and then she starts to kick out side to side for the waist and the hips and then she's kicking out behind her for the lower back and buttocks and then she does a twist and then she does a ski patrol and she puts her feet together and then he might have to move the camera on this one. And then um, she sits down on the cellar sizer and she starts to do the movement up and down like this. And then she leans back and she starts to lift her feet up. And then she starts to do the cheek to cheek motion and in and out and up and down. And she was done and stood up and we all clapped. She looks at me, she says, you don't remember me, do you? I said, no, I don't. And she says, I was a lady last year in the walker with a degenerative hip. You have given me a whole new lease on life. I said, would you be willing to share that in front of a thousand people when I lecture? She said, yes, I would. I want to encourage everybody. I don't know what your condition is, what you're working on, um, but I know what the cellar size has been to a great many of us. And it's not a typical rebounder. It's not a typical mini trampoline. If you've experienced just a typical rebounder or a typical mini trampoline, you haven't experienced the cellar sizer. And we want to encourage everyone to feel free to try it, to experience the difference. Again, we use the tridaptable spring technology. And it doesn't matter whether you're 30 pounds or 300 pounds or more. You're going to utilize that portion of the spring you need based upon what you are doing. Um, so keep writing your questions down. Share them with me. Share your, your, your stories, your experiences. Um, we have been so incredibly busy. We get to the office. We're on the phone from the moment we get there. And we're getting there early in the morning until the moment we leave. And there's some of you who may have had a hard time getting through to us. We apologize. We're doing the best we can. Um, please keep trying. Don't give up. Um, we're happy to talk to you. We're happy to share with you. And, and you know, if we can give you advice or encouragement, um, if you can share your stories with us, you know, we're all in this together. We're in, you know, we want to enjoy the journey and know that it is a journey, but it's something we can all enjoy together. Remember, you don't have to work out when you can play in, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're all playing in right now. So, um, Brooklyn, were there any other questions that I should ask? Thank you. We'll see you, not next week, because next week is a holiday, but we'll see you the week after. And in the interim, if you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you, and enjoy.